All right, today we are talking about security duty and responsibility. As a security guard, if you are working in your duty post, can be hotel, can be commercial office building, can be construction, so and hospitality. So whenever you are working as a security guard, the responsibility or will be the same. If you are working even in UK, if you work in America, so wherever you work in the whole world as a security guard, the responsibility has to be the same. So first thing we are talking about responsibility. Protection of people, property and information. That is security responsibility. So first I would like to give you some example regarding protection of people. If you are in your duty force and you found that there are some people are fighting and you need to approach them and try to stop their fight it will be really good repetition but if you cannot stop their fighting it is really out of control so you need to call immediately to police and when police come the authority and they will try to stop the fight and also they will solve their military problem so that is what you call police for protection of people this is why you protect people you try your heart, you try your best, but you could not stop their fighting and you call immediately to police, that is why you protect people. The second thing, if there is, during your patrolling, if you found that there is water leakage, there is fire, or there is evacuation. So if you found that things and you evacuate people from the building, if there is a real big fire, and then this is what you are protecting people. You have to call people to a simple point. So this is what we call protection of people. The second thing is property. Protection of property. How you protect the property? For example, you are doing patrolling and you found that during your patrolling that there is water leakage, there is short circuit, electric short circuit, there is a fire, small fire. And then when you when there is a small fire, you need to fight with the fire immediately with extinguisher, with a fire nozzle, and this is what you are protecting property. Second example is that if the water is being leakage there and you call immediately to maintenance, he will solve, he will stop the leakage, alright. So during your patrolling, you stop you, you you notice that there is fire leakage and you call maintenance, he came in salt. He stop the leakage and recti he rectify the problem. So that is what you are protecting the property. Have you been noticed and you just go on and then you are not protecting the property because the water will be flooded, flooded, it will damage a lot of property. The third thing is that information. How you protect the information? It is like looking very really strange, like how you will protect information. So for example, you are a security guard and a building and a hotel and you are not allowed to spread and share with someone with, some, with, with the one company information or policy to other company so this is what you are protecting someone company information so information is like confidentiality computer crime can be somebody is coming to us stolen the data from computer that is what you are controlling information you are protecting information so as a security guard, general duty and responsibility is just I would like to be with highlighted with just nine things already. This is a journal and formation to help you whenever you are working as a security guard. The first thing is access controlling, access control. The second thing, the second is observing and reporting. You need, whenever you are your duty post, you need to observe. You need to observe all, with all, you need to observe all things. You need to observe and reporting. If you observe something is stranger, something is suspicious and crumbly, you need to immediately report it to the CCTV control rooms. The third is keeping good public relationship. So as a security guard, you need to keep a good public relationship if you are working in a hotel, if you are working commercial, building, you are working construction, always you need to be have positive behavior, you need to be polite, 
you need to be professional as a security guard. So this is what we call keeping good public relations. The fourth one is respond to emergency. As I discuss here, protection of people, property, as I discuss about a patrolling, that is you are responding to emergency. All right, the fifth one is controlling access using alarm system. So whenever you are a security guard and you start your duty at a building or a hotel, wherever, you need to know how to access to silent the fire alarm. So you need to know the, con the fire control panel to controlling access using alarm system. The sixth one is patrolling, as I discussed here. Patrolling, how you do patrolling? To monitoring and observe the whole property. If there is anything which is can be hazard, can be property damage, can be hazard of people, so you do all this protection. This is what we call patrolling. Here are traffic control. So as a security guard, if you are a traffic marshal, you are a traffic security, you need to be control the traffic. Alright. You need to help people to move on, to move forward, and it shouldn't be traffic. So you are any security guard can be your duty at the point where you are a traffic controller. All right. The say the eighth one is finding and reporting safety hazard. If there is any hazard, as I discussed here, as a journalist, you need to immediately to report. All right. To whom you report? If there is a hazard, if you can, you can do it by yourself. If you cannot do it, you need to immediately inform. If it's related with maintenance, if it's related with carpenter, if it's related with police or fire brigade or whatever is it. You are finding and reporting safety hazard. The last thing is SOP. SOP means to say, the SOP means to say, it is most of the time you will see SOP and hotel. Whenever you are working hotel, there is SOP which is standing operating policy. So this is what you need to be. As a security guard, you need to know SOP. What is SOP? Standing operating policies. All right. So this is what today our lesson was regarding security duty responsibility. And then the last thing is your trust. Trust is like security are the most trusted people in the world and everywhere. The people are really trust security. So today, this was my short video for a good and, uh, I mean, some knowledge regarding security, journal experience, journal information. So I will have a next video, uh, uh, inshallah, as soon as possible to give you some more information. And hope you like my video and hope you watch my video. So subscribe my video. Thank you so much.